Hey there Aries, welcome to Shared Sentience and thanks so much for being here. So this is going to be your general weekly reading for April the 27th through May the 3rd. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below, as well as my information if you would like to reach out to me. So Aries, you can apply this reading to your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. For those of you who are curious, I'm a Pisces sun, a Pisces moon, and a Gemini ascendant, okay? Um, so I talk pretty fast, especially once I get into the messages. So if that's something that bothers you, you're more than welcome to slow the video down in the settings under playback speed, okay? Um, I'm not accepting personal readings at this time. Um, also, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. For those of you who would like to follow me, that information is down below, okay? Oh, I thought there was something else, okay? Oh, there is. Uh, so normally I have your past, present, and future laying out in dominoes, runes, and oracles. I'll start with channel messages, clarify with tarot. Um, I'm a little bit sick of that, okay? I'm a little bit sick of that spread. I can't figure out what else I want to do. So I'm just using one tool this week. I'm just using the tarot, and I'm going to pull Celtic Cross. I still want to use those other tools, but I'm just not sure what I want to do with them yet. And, you know, when you're sick of a spread, you just can't make yourself do it, okay? You just can't. Um, the energy's just not in it. So I am seeing a bull, okay? So some of you could be dealing, you could be on the cusp, okay? You could be dealing with the Taurus, though. Um, uh, but there is somebody coming towards you pretty aggressively, all right? Defensive energy here. This could be a Capricorn or a Gemini, all right? For some of you, this is definitely a Gemini. Uh, some of you are definitely dropping a Capricorn or a Scorpio as well. Uh, yeah, I'm aware I said Scorpio. I didn't... I, was it, I feel like somebody thinks I meant to say Gemini, but I didn't. Okay, somebody's dropping a Capricorn or a Scorpio. Um, but there is a Gemini or a Capricorn coming towards you aggressively for something, okay? Defensive energy there. Uh, but some of, some of you are being chosen over an air sign, all right? Uh, I'm not sure what you're competing with this air sign for. This could be a person, it could be a job, all right? Uh, but you're definitely being chosen. I feel like it's different for all of you, but you are being chosen, all right? I'm seeing red roses as well. So red roses can be uh, romance, all right? They could also be respect. They could be... Um, promise, all right? There are a couple different things that um, roses symbolize. I've not exactly memorized all of them, uh, but I know that, you know, romance and promise and respect are a few of those things. But, you know, when roses show up in different colors, they symbolize different things. So that's another reason I don't totally have a lot of information on that, okay? <laughs> but, um, you know, you could always look those things up, all right? The red roses just might be significant to you for a personal reason. I mean, I don't know, but that's what I'm saying. There was red roses, all right? So, Red roses. So we're going to go ahead and do the Celtic Cross. The heart of the matter. Okay, what's crossing you? What's challenging you? What lies above you? What lies below you? What lies before you? What lies behind you? Uh, your feelings, your environment, your fears and hopes, and the outcome. Okay, so heart of the matter is the Six of Wands, Leo energy. Okay, uh, crossing you. What's challenging you? The Knight of Wands. I had the Knight of Wands crossing somebody else. I want to say it was Gemini. Uh, what lies above you is the Hangman. Uh, Piscean energy. What lies below you is the Queen of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Excuse me, Capricorn energy. Um, what lies behind you is the Page of Cups, water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What lies before you, so your near future, is the Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Okay. Um, your feelings, the Six of Pentacles. Some of you could be a Taurus or a Libra rising or a Taurus or Libra moon. Okay. Uh, your feelings, uh, the or excuse me, your, your environment, um, is the Five of Swords, Aquarian energy. Alright, so some of your feelings uh, are kind of bleeding into your environment, um, is what I'm feeling there as well. Uh, your hopes and fears, the King of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Let's move this sage out of here a little bit. <clears throat> okay, and the final outcome here is the Ace of Pentacles. I like that. I mean, right? Uh, that is Earth, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. But there's an ending that comes with this, all right? There's an ending that comes with this. There's some movement that needs to happen here uh, in regards to a situation, okay? Um, now, let me see what else is showing up here. So, pretty much evening out uh, as far as uh, the suits go, okay? So, you do have cups. You've got pinnacles. You've got wands. You've even got a sword card here showing up in your environment. Um, so, there's something that needs to be talked about. All right. Uh, the heart of the matter is the six of wands. So movement. There's some kind of movement that needs to take place here. Um, you want some kind of victory. You want something to be clear. You want something to be recognized in a situation. Or you want to be recognized. You want recognition in a situation here. Aries. Ew. Um, you want to move though as well for some of you. You definitely want to move 
out of the situation. Okay? Because the Knight of Wands is what's crossing you. So you, there are things... I, I don't know why I've been getting this for the Knight of Wands. It's not necessarily what it means, but you feel like there are things that are out of your control. Okay? This is a very impulsive energy, but you feel like there are things that are out of your control. You feel like you're lacking control in a situation, like you can't move for some reason. But that's what you want to do with the Six of Wands here. I'm positive. Okay? You want to move away from something. All right? And then it's Page of Cups in the past here. Um... Now, that has me interested, but I'll, I'll get to that in just a second, actually, uh, because I want to get to the hangman here, because he is uh, what is above you. So that's what you're working towards is the hangman, okay? Oh, you want to relax, okay? You want to relax. You want to be comfortable, okay? You want to be comfortable in a situation. All right, now the Queen of Pentacles is lying in your subconscious, so there's something going on with her, okay? There's something going on with that. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please. For Aries lying below them. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely a home matter here for a lot of you. Or some of you want marriage. You want a higher level of commitment. This is Piscean energy. This is Taurian energy. Uh, but you feel like you've been working on something pretty hard here. All right, you're disappointed in something. So whatever it is that you're trying to leave, some of you maybe don't want to admit to yourself uh, that your work isn't paying off in a situation. Whatever it is that you're trying to leave here. Now, the Page of Cups has me interested too. I'm actually not going to leave that hair phone out. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Cups in the past. Why is this in the past here? Um, I think in the past here, Aries, it almost seems like, because Page of Cups is a very genuine, very compassionate, uh, kind, giving, generous energy that's showing up here with the Page of Cups in the past. Uh, so I feel like somebody was in this energy in the past, but this is you or someone that you were connecting with, okay? Tell me about the Page of Cups. It almost seems like somebody has shown their true colors in a situation for some reason. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, some of you are trying to prove your worth. Yeah, it almost seems like somebody somebody was backstabbed here in a situation. Aries with the uh, Ten of Swords showing up here. That's Gemini energy. Uh, but you're trying to walk away from something. That's why I say this. And your feelings are the Six of Pentacles, okay? Um, so you feel like somebody has proven themselves to you is what I'm feeling here with the Six of Pentacles. You feel like somebody has proven themselves. They've given you all the information that you need, okay? But in the past, they seem very genuine. They seem very understanding, okay? All right, and you've got Eight of Cups showing up in your near future. That's what lies before you. So you're walking away or someone else is walking away, all right, because somebody's not comfortable in a situation, okay? Now you've got the Five of Swords showing up in your environment, all right? Uh, so there's a lot of mental confliction here. There's a lot of confliction going on. There's a lot of arguing for some of you, okay? For some of you, there's just a lot going on in the headspace, all right? Now you do have the King of Cups showing up. Uh, you do have the King of Cups showing up here, um in your hopes and fears, okay? So I feel like you're hoping for balance, okay? You're hoping for peace in a situation. That's what this is. You're working towards comfortability. There's somebody that you're around that you're not comfortable being around here, Aries, or something of that nature here. Somebody you're with that you're not comfortable being with or you don't feel like you can express yourself. All right? Some of you just don't feel like you can express yourself. But the Ace of Pentacles is showing up as the final outcome, okay? So I feel like new doors are going to be opening for you. If this is a higher level of commitment that you're wanting, some kind of balance there with that, with this King of Cups showing up. Um, I also feel like some of you are fearing an ending. You're fearing a conversation, which is just weird uh, to me, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like some of you are definitely... <sighs> Not willing to be confrontational, all right? You're going to have to speak up in a situation. This hermit and the ten of wands, something's weighing on you here, and you're going to have to say it, all right? I think it's going to lead to you walking away from something because you're not comfortable. You're not comfortable. I just keep getting that heavily. It's repeating here, okay? But new doors are opening. New paths are opening. Um, I see that being the final outcome, but I feel like you're going to have to speak up first about something here, Aries. I don't know what this is about. I don't know what this is alluding to, but you're going to have to have a conversation with someone, 